The Pizzichitti Plus Cello Trio was composed in 1989 and Pizzichitti Plus is taken from Kitty Plus. The Kitty Plus is an Afro-Venezuelan percussion trio of bamboo instruments. So the interlocking patterns of the Kitty Plus, the original instrument, which is a trio, I repeat, it's those patterns are created by three sizes of bamboo tubes struck against a hard floor. And uh, these are emulated by the pizzicato techniques I developed for this unusual piece. And this piece came out of a workshop I did with students in Caracas, uh, where I experimented many, many different ways of imitating the percussion instruments. So two of the cellos play the, per the pizzicato percussion parts, actual interlocking imitation percussion rhythm, interlocking patterns. And the third cello represents the sounds of a seaconch trumpet, the guarura, which is usually played during the dances and chanting of the Kitty Plas and other drumming ceremonies in Afro-Venezuelan traditions. So the performance of this trio is extremely demanding because you have very quick tempo and, uh, and you have to really interact very, very quickly with the voice you're playing against if you're playing the pizzicato parts. Uh, yet there is something that drives you into the rhythm and pushes you ahead once you lock into the interlocking logic of these two parts, the two pizzicato parts, you start to drive the music effortlessly. And the whole structure of the piece is quite interesting because it goes from a very fast exposition to a gradual slowing down of the material, but never through a rallentando, but only through a written subdivision that will slow it down as the motives and the structures change. And, it, and the, the end of the piece, this, the this final segments of the music, are extremely slow and you will have uh, the impression that you're still in this very brisk and tight interaction, but actually you're creating horizons that are meditations nocturnal visions of the banana plantations with the stars and the frogs and the drops of dripping from the leaves, the banana leaves into the little puddles and you see the stars reflected in the puddles and that nocturnal atmosphere is evoked in the trio in its last part. So this piece, the Pizzichiti Plas, which lasts about seven minutes, I believe, is a challenging yet very, very rewarding cello trio.